Think about gingivitis. Think about periodontitis. Hey guys, it's Rita and Alad again today. For those of you that are new here, thank you for tuning in. And for those of you who have been here before, keep the love coming. Thank you so much for all the support. So today I'm here to talk about gum disease and we're gonna talk about gingivitis versus periodontitis. What is gingivitis? Gingivitis is inflammation of the gums. Inflammation includes swelling of the gums, redness, bleeding. So whenever you've got all those signs, just know those are signs leading to gingivitis. So that means you need to pay attention to your gums, especially when you're brushing your gums. Brush those gum margins. Make sure you clean in between your teeth to help you get back your healthy gums. The other thing you could possibly do, or you should do really, is to see a dental hygienist or your dentist to make sure they look at your gums and they clean them really well for you. When you have gingivitis, the gums are inflamed around the gum margin. So you'll see a red line, just like you see over here, of the gum inflamed. So, um, so once you see that, those should be alarm bells. Whenever you see bleeding gums, use it as a flag to know that you need to pay more attention to that particular area where you're getting the bleeding or to the general mouth to get it checked just to make sure everything is okay. When does gingivitis shift from gingivitis to periodontitis? So with gingivitis, it's the gum that has issues, not the bone. When you have gingivitis or periodontitis, you can end up having things like bad breath, bleeding gums, tenderness of the gums, pain when you bite together because you're putting pressure on those spongy gums that are inflamed. When it transforms from just the gum to the bone, then it's a transition to periodontitis. So that means you're starting to lose some of your bone that holds your teeth in place because of the bacteria that is sitting around the gum margins. When the bacteria sits around the gum margin, it then works into the teeth, resulting into pockets, which are called periodontal pockets. Those pockets then show us that you've got periodontitis. How do you find those pockets? We use a periodontal probe which goes inside the teeth and the deeper it goes, the bigger the problem. So it does read from zero to 10 plus. So we always look out for how deep it goes for, to sort of guide us on how to treat your gums and how long the treatment is gonna take. We use x-rays just like this one here. X-rays do show us how much bone loss you've got. It could be vertical or it could be horizontal. So it shows us how long you could keep your teeth because that's the biggest sign because then you can't see what's going on inside the teeth. When you've got periodontitis, normally you would need a deep clean by a dental hygienist or a gum specialist. A gum specialist is called a periodontist. So either the hygienist will carry out a deep clean for you or she will refer you or he will refer you to a gum specialist who would then take over and treat your gums really well. So when you're looking after your teeth, think about gingivitis, think about periodontitis, because gingivitis is reversible, but periodontitis is irreversible. So if you get periodontitis, we can try to save the teeth, but there is a possibility you could lose quite a lot of your teeth and you don't want to go down that road. And research says that gum disease can lead to other health problems. By improving your gums, you can improve your health because gum disease can result into so many health issues. These include heart disease, heart attacks, high blood pressure, strokes, infertility. I mean, other things that can cause gum disease are things like smoking. When you are a smoker, you won't get the signs of gum disease, like the bleeding gums to give you all the flags and the alarm bells. You won't get that. The best thing you can do as a smoker is go in regularly to your dental hygienist, to your dentist to get your gums checked. If you can't give up, even better. But if you can't, we advise you to always, always be on top of your dental checkups. Mobility, redness, soreness, 
I mean, the gums can be unstable because of gum disease. So guys, remember to always look after your teeth. See your dentist and your dental hygienist regularly because they will save your teeth. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Read on her lines. Have a lovely day.